Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Cooler Review. Today, we have a classic margarita by Bobby Margarita, made by the Ace Beverage Group. Now, I don't know, and it's in Toronto. I don't know if Ace Beverage Group is Ace Hill Brewing or if it's something else. Um, because Ace Hill Brewing could easily just become Ace Beverage Group and start making seltzers and stuff like they already are and do some contract brewing. But how many of you know who Bobby Margarita is? I'm excited about this. So I'm a, this is 5% alcohol. And again, classic Margarita. The legend of, well here, pause this after you, who is that? You see the picture? Now pause it. And if you paused it, you could actually read it and see, unfortunately. Anyway, this is made in Canada and the legend of Bobby Margarita. I'm proud to be known as the original hockey insider. Who could it be? And have my plaque on display in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Who could it be? But it's a lot more fun to be Bobby Margarita than Bob McKenzie. Bobby Margarita isn't just a name or Canada's favorite ready to drink margarita. It's a state of mind all about having fun. Bobby knows best. I didn't know that Bobby Margarita was Canada's favorite ready to drink margarita. I did not know. I've never, I've only had a few ready to drink margaritas to be honest with you. Uh, I always hated making margaritas. I'd have people order margaritas all the time and I'd be like, really? I gotta make a margarita? Canada's favorite ready to drink margarita. Well, I mean, the color's kind of proper. I mean, it, it is that super hazy crazy. It's, it's almost white lemonade like sent out of the glass, out of the glass, out of the can. Oh yeah. They don't know. Oh, here's the ingredients, eh? Uh, water, tequila, grain, neutral spirit, lime juice concentrate, cane sugar, natural flavors, citric acid, salts, and... St you added stevia to this? Okay, you know what? And if you had tequila, and it's not like it says tequila and then brackets, neutral green spirits, it's tequila and neutral green spirits, and you're still only 5% alcohol? Wow! I mean, the lime juice from Concentrate, sure. Sugar, uh, cane sugar, sure. Salt, proper. Water, really the water, yeah, I guess. But stevia. And I, I don't even know how I would say that smells. I mean, it kind of just smells like low-end tequila. Um, the lime juice is overpowered out of the can at the very, at the very least. I haven't sniffed it out of the glass yet, but out of the can, it's just kind of like watered-down, lower-end tequila scent. But that doesn't matter because you're not usually going to smell this. You're just going to taste it, right? So let's sniff it out of the glass, then we'll taste it. And really, for these ready-to, ready-to-drink cocktails. You know, whether you pour them over ice, you chill them and then pour them, whatever it is, it's really the taste that matters. You're just going, hey, look, I got a margarita without all the work. That's what it's about. So if it tastes fine, it doesn't matter what it smells like. It's not like a beer where, for me, a beer is an experience. You know, I'm sitting around with my buddies or my family or whatever, and I'm enjoying it sip by sip, right? But this is just a, yeah! <laughs> so out of the glass. Okay, it doesn't smell. It doesn't smell as bad out of the glass. It's still, it's still just that tequila scent like that. I, don't, I can't even. It's just alcohol, really. I get a little bit of a, and at five percent alcohol, I shouldn't get it. I get that alcohol like astringency in the nose, and a little bit of lime juice is coming out from the glass as well. So, again, not something you normally sniff. I mean, even when I make. And when I make a margarita, when I would work as a bartender and make a margarita, you'd never see somebody sniff it first. They wouldn't go, they'd just be like, mm. oh, good, yeah! Right? They're not, they're not there to... And I mean, I think the only 
liquors or alcohol I actually sniff is wine, beer, and whiskey. The only three things that I'm not going to sniff vodka, that's just going to be nail polish remover. Uh, gin, I don't care about the smell of gin. Tequila, I'm not a huge fan of. I don't care about the smell of tequila. I haven't found a tequila yet. Uh, actually, that's a lie. Um, the Patron, the Patron XO, the, uh, the uh, Cafe XO, the Coffee Patron, love the smell of that one. Um, rum, again, another one that I don't really care about the smell of. I mean, a lot of rums smell very, very similar. Uh, the major things I take a sniff of are things that actually aren't always the exact, well, close to the exact same, shall I say, things with a wide range of, or plethora of scents and flavors. I'll, I'll, I'll sniff a craft variant of every one of those alcohols because they usually do something different. I mean, like you have Hendrix, which is the cucumber gin. You have like stuff that's different. I'll smell just to smell it. The uh, Ngava gin from uh, from Domain Pinnacle, that type of stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll sniff that stuff, but I'm, I'm talking too much. Cheers, let's go. Okay. No carbonation, but you didn't expect carbonation. I didn't expect carbonation. Only reason I bring that up is there's a lot of times that these ready-to-drink cocktails are carbonated. Um, the lime juice is there. The salt is there. It's salty. It's limey. It's moorish because you drink it and you get that lime flavor and it's slightly salted. And it dries out your palate really quickly, and you're like, shit, I need more. So you go for more. Does it taste... Does it taste like a margarita? Arguably, yes, it tastes like a margarita. Could it possibly... Could it possibly be Canada's best or favorite ready to drink margarita. Yeah, I guess it could. I mean, there's nothing offensive about it. It tastes like it should. Uh, I think you'd want to pour this over ice, or at the very least, you'd probably want to actually serve it in the proper glass, maybe rim the glass, uh, maybe put a, a wedge of your own lime there to make it, because it looks the part, smells the part, it kind of tastes the part, so if you put it in the glass and put the and salted the rim or sugared the rim if you want sugar instead of the salt, and put the lime wedge there, and put the little straw in, make it something interesting, make it an experience. You could really drink this and not think anything of it. You wouldn't. It wouldn't be your top. It wouldn't be like you went to went to a great bar like R Five or something and ordered this and they served it. It wouldn't be like the fresh margarita you might normally get. But there's nothing wrong with it. It's like, okay. I will say, though, I should not get the I just drank alcohol look on 5%. It shouldn't make me go or anything like that. It really does and it might be because it's been so long since I've actually drank hard liquor. But the flavor on the back end of that, uh, you can tell that you're drinking tequila and it actually feels like it's a lot higher percentage. It's almost as if I'm taking a shot. Not not with the burn. The burn isn't there. It's just that, that physical sensation that you get from taking a shot. That's kind of what's there. It's like, oh. It's not a bad drink. It's really not. Out of 10 on that? Uh, so, if you're new to the channel, and if you're watching a cooler review, unless you're watching all my videos, you're probably somewhat new. Uh, my, my marking system is not necessarily just on flavor. It's on flavor, it's on value, it's on whether I would buy it again. And, like, 0 to... 0 to 2.75, you know, it's... I'm never gonna drink this again. You'd have to threaten to kill me, rah, rah. Three until 4.75, it's, you know what, I don't want to drink it, I'm gonna bitch about it, but I am a big Irish guy who grew up in Canada, I'm going to, I'm gonna drink whatever the fuck you give me, right? Um, five to 6.75 is, I can, per, I can drink it, no complaints asked, nothing like, I just won't spend my own money on it. 
and seven and up is I would actively buy this. Well, I would buy this. I shouldn't say I would actively buy this because there's some things at seven that I don't go, uh, when I go into the beer store, say, or into the LCBO or into the SAC if I'm in Quebec or online or anything like that, I might, I may have rated it a seven, but there's something there that's seven, seven, five or eight. And I'm like, you know what? I would buy those before I would buy that, but I would still spend my money on that. So if I have some extra money when I'm done buying it and I have an extra three bucks or something, sure, I'll throw it. But yeah, so for this, I think I'd give it a six. I wouldn't buy it again. I have no problems with it. Um, maybe if I, maybe if I added some, again, maybe if I presented it better, I'd buy it more often to make people think I made it. Because, uh, well, Bobby Margarita, the one, the, good th the one thing about ready to make margaritas is, well, ready to drink margaritas is that uh, a lot of bartenders, a lot of people that entertain they hate making margaritas so if you get something that can almost taste proper and all you have to do is a little bit of a little bit of a touch-up or even just like I said present presentation to make it better it's a great product so for that I, I, I don't think I would buy it again I have no problem drinking it uh, it's not a bad product so Bobby Margarita's classic margarita thank you bye bye